Progress. Frog in progress. You read up higher in the chat. Yes. Ah. All right. Just taking a second to get everything lined out here. All right. There we go. You got it? Now I got it. You sure? I think so. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so last week somebody, I forget who it was, somebody <clears throat> asked if we would add a countdown timer, trailer, or something like that. The trailer that you saw when you clicked in was an experiment. I don't know if that's what we are going to stick with, but uh, that's what we did tonight. So, hello to Mama Bear, the tinkerer's wife. Huh? Camera's rough tonight. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just noticed that. Might be our connection. Uh, uh, Lippy says she didn't see it. Oh, weird. Cam Pet and Family Compound. Who huh. go homestead? <laughs> Miss Lippy. All the things acres. Where to begin homestead? Built on the rock homestead. Oh, y'all are coming in quick now. Jenny Pennington. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Hi. Hi, Lori, Firefly Farm. All the things acres. I said that, I think. Whatever the case. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Bins <laughs> over acres. Dolores Lee. Hello and welcome. I have coffee. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> we have been really hammering out some chores. Uh, life in the UP or life in the up, as Amy thought it was. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I think I'm still kind of dusty. Yeah, be home, please. <laughs> I had time to have a shower. You didn't. No. So forgive, forgive the dustiness. <laughs> I'm just old. That's why I'm dusty. You're always dusty. <laughs> Either way it works. Okay. <laughs> life in the up. I like it better that way. <laughs> okay, I just heard back from Reagan at uh, Southern Boy, Southern Boy Cripper. Uh, because we saw that there was a, a forest fire, well, in, yeah, it's a wildfire, wildfire in in the area where his his home is. So I reached out to him to ask if they were in any danger. He said no, but they can see it from their house. They evacuated some homes. Yeah, uh, from what I've heard is they've evacuated, um, I think, six houses. So that's pretty rough. We don't normally get wildfires in our area, but this one, I think, was started from a brush fire that got out of hand. Um, <clears throat> and then the wind picked up all kinds of crazy this afternoon. My eyes are doing good, and I think I got... Dust. Dust or allergies yeah. or something. All well, of a sudden, when I'm trying to read the chat, of course. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pollen is hey, Sue's. absolutely horrible here. My car was a wonderful shade of yellow. <laughs> I'm thinking we're probably we're thinking that somebody was probably burning um brush or something in that area and uh the wind picked up and it kind of got out of hand i don't think it was anything on purpose but um you know it does happen usually not so much in this area but um up near de quincey where it's happening it's it's a heavily wooded area so yeah. there's probably still a lot of trees down from the storms and you know rotting trees laying <laughs> all over the ground so that's gonna um, oh, there he is. Perk things up hey, Reagan, we were just telling everyone about your situation there. Glad to hear you that you're okay. Yeah, uh, the Vineyard Farmhouse. Hey, welcome. Um, we didn't have any power outage here, Lippy. Um, she said it blew so bad, power was going in and out, worried about a power surge. Yeah, 
It, it has happened. We haven't had any of that going on here. The, not that I know. Not, we weren't home. We are working outside. We do have all, we, well, there's only one going now, but we had all of the dehydrators running all day today. <laughs> all of them. <clears throat> fire in Texas, wooden train bridge caught on fire. Oh, oh man. Got well, put out, thankfully. Okay. hope it didn't hurt the integrity of the, the bridge. That's not something you hear too much from from this area. Is there wildfires and stuff? Picture yeah. of the smoke from from this place. They could see it. Yeah. It's, looks like it's a, a good distance from from his place. That's good. North well, I'm glad Shore. you're here, Sean. Um, he said he's sitting back and resting while watching, so he won't be in the chat. That's all right. That's very understandable. You rest, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> North Shore Preparedness has been having guests. I know last week we mentioned that we were going to be his guest this past <laughs> Monday, but he inadvertently uh, double booked himself. So I said, hey, you know what? No worries. We'll wait until next time. So uh, this past uh, Monday, he had Sean in Alaska on. So it was a so, double dose of Sean. <laughs> Sean and Sean. So, yeah. I'm it sure was, it, it was a great show. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please go back and watch. It was worth it. It was Sean from North Shore Preparedness and, and Steve in Utah. Steve. <laughs> Little Frenchie and Big Texas. That's what Hello, Sean welcome. always says when he comes in. Instead of Sean in Alaska, he's Steve in Utah. <laughs> Homestead Heart in Georgia had tree damage from a tornado. Oh, man. That's good. Thanks. God spared their house. Um. <clears throat> So far, I mean, the wind's pretty strong. It got really gusty today, but uh, I think the only casualty was one elderberry. Yeah. Which is no big deal because they're native here. They're everywhere. So let's do that. This uh, this coming Monday, I'll be at work. We'll have to skip this one, Sean, but I appreciate the invitation. We'll work it out. Yeah, we'll get it figured out for sure. <clears throat> Um, I was I was very surprised. Even the tomatoes are holding up to this wind. But one of my little um, dragon tongue bean plants got knocked over, but it perked back up. So we pulled some uh, we pulled some suckers off of the tomatoes and tried to propagate. But since I don't have the little airtight container that I used to have from the video that I made four years ago, <laughs> uh, they're not doing so hot. So. Uh, well, I'll put some of them in, in a tray of water to see if I can get them to perk up. Okay. But I did I did take some cuttings off of I have my grandma's heirloom rose. It was my grandma's. <laughs> and, you said uh, that already. <clears throat> huh? No, it's great. You said that just now? You said that already. Tonight? I think you, we talked about that last week. No, I'm talking about I'm talking to these people tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mary Beth. Just keep talking. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, my grandma's heirloom rose, which is an old fuchsia colored, beautiful rose. And it smells like roses, the old style. Uh, <clears throat> we've we've kept it alive through a couple of moves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I propagated it a few years ago. So we have two of them now. And I just took 12 cuttings to try to propagate some more. Mm -hmm. So they're doing, they seem to be doing well. We're going to see how it goes. We're just about out of strawberry plants. We sold most of them. Yeah. So, and, uh, well, we've we sold our comfort. given away. So, yeah. Quite so a bit. If, if you're local, we do still have some comfort. We have a couple of strawberry plants. Uh, we've got some Maypops, which is a, the native passion vine in our area. I don't know that we're going to have those up. I don't think we have enough of those to have to put them up for sale to offer them out. No, but if anybody's local and would like to get a hold of some, um, get with us and let us know. Yeah, we have all sorts of native fun stuff. So <laughs> we'll do what we can to help you out. I just planted 80 evergreen bunching onions that had sprout that I had sprouted. Wow. I have not had any luck with the bunching onions, starting those from seeds. No. No. 
The closest we've come to uh, starting onions from seeds is we got some. <laughs> is Arizona close enough? We bought we bought some sets, onion sets. I'll from, believe it uh, when I hear it, uh, Reagan. <laughs> we bought some onion sets from. One of these days, Reagan's going to show up nursery. for our live stream. That would be fun. Oh, Gil's out there chitting again. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's great. Guilt chips a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Abby is not here tonight. She worked job number one this morning, came home. She got up. A- she she was home long enough to change, grab some food, and on to the next job. <laughs> we stayed pretty busy today too. Oh, I went back to work yesterday, hence the the shaven face. Uh, Hallelujah. So, yeah. So, no more vacations until I think my next one is scheduled in November. Uh, but I still get I still got my, my I still get my normal week off every three weeks, unless or until I get uh, a promotion to training officer. We'll see how that goes. Reagan keeps I haven't even taken the test coming. yet. Not holding my breath. <laughs> if you give me a definite day, I, I might cook him supper. <laughs> or better yet, if he gives me enough advance notice, I'll make Abby take the day off and have her cook supper. Hey, That's there's Miss Patty. Good to see you. So far, what do we have growing? We have three... Three varieties of tomatoes. All of them are indeterminate, hence the cattle panels for them to grow on. We have uh, how many tomatoes? Three varieties. Oh yeah. In the garden. I mean, we've got some more sprouted, but I don't know how well they're going to do. They're they're getting there. They're, they're looking a little better now, we've which it, it's great. The weather has been crazy. <laughs> Supper <laughs> just changes things. Super. Well, I think it's supposed to be. Sub- oh, sub. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. The prepared Christian. Good to see you. Um, I got sidetracked. We've got rattles. Uh, not rattlesnake beans. Dragon, dragon tongue, tongue beans, beans coming up. We've got uh, edamame, which yeah. is those green pea pods that you get with sushi often. It's a soybean. Uh, it's a it's a type of soybean. We're trying some of those this year. We've got our normal strawberry bed. We've got some green onions as, as always. Um. Society garlic still and mullein. Uh, we got some. Uh, what's the vine? Lufa. Lufa started. Oh, the lufa is going. Cucumbers are going and growing. Um, Reagan's gonna send me to the food now. That looks delicious. Okay, quit texting with Reagan <laughs> while you're on the live stream. If you want to talk to Reagan while in the live stream, then he needs to be here. You hear that? Uh huh. <laughs> Or you can talk to him through the chat. We've got a couple of peppers. A couple of peppers and a couple of eggplant in the garden. The peppers Uh, are finally starting. The seedlings are finally starting to get going. Yes, it is. It it comes from a type of squash. Gourd. Gourd. Oh, my gourd. You're not funny. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... <laughs> Who else wants to text Reagan? I'll give out his number. I don't <laughs> care. <Not really. laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, the turmeric hasn't broken ground yet. Amy, uh, Amy how would you turn that, that into a bad thing? Actually, as it grow when it's fully grown, it, it um, dries on the plant and it creates the loofah itself. Uh, look up natural loofah. It's not the yeah. It's not the fluffy bath thing. It's it's a it's like a round, almost like a scrub pad. It technically is a scrub pad. Well, okay, but yeah, and it's, it's it's like a slice out of the gourd. Right. We'll have it, to make a video on that this year. Yeah, it's really great for scrubbing pots and not scratching anything. Yeah, it's good for cast iron mm-hmm. for cleaning cast iron because it's a a safe scrub. It's not gonna. You can take wash your dishes with it. You can wash yourself with it. You can use them outside. Mm. 
to, to scrub other veggies. Veronica Hart. And eggs and up. things like that. I was forgetting about that. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. So that was Tuesday, two days ago. Veronica Hart had messaged me saying that her daughter Chelsea and her granddaughter Abby were coming through, uh, passing through Southwest or South Louisiana, Southwest Louisiana, on along Interstate 10. She asked if it would be okay for for them to stop by, and of course we said yes because we love to in, to entertain guests. So uh, Chelsea and Abby, her little was she like two? Not uh, even. Not even. Not even no. two. Anyway, uh, they stopped by Hello Northern Karma and His Way Homestead. Welcome. Can I grow loose is out in the desert? Uh, that I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, send me an email. We might be able to send you some seeds because I have some that we've collected. So Chelsea bought, bought some comfrey plants uh, to bring to Veronica. And I gave some elderberry cuttings and we gave a t-shirt because it, the day before <laughs> was Veronica's birthday. So we gave her a little extra gift to surprise her mom with. And it was a lot of fun. They didn't get to stay but a, cu a couple of minutes, but it was it was really great. It's always good to meet people. Hardneck Farms. How to garden. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I had a visit with a good friend yesterday and I uh, got to go to lunch and see my, my goddaughter and Still waiting on you, Doug. So that was pretty cool. We have not had a chance to mess with the, the brake bleeder. I keep telling you, that's and what we need to work with. I'm going to end up being in trouble with uh, Lonely Prepper, Homestead, Art. He Sometimes he watches and he's just behind the scenes. So, Art, I do apologize. I haven't had time to mess with that yet. Um. We need to go. I've reminded you a couple of times though, because uh, I really need your help to try to figure that thing out. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and Mama Bear. <laughs> Seems um, like. Uh, no, I really want to figure that thing out and do a video on it because I, I honestly, I believe that could help a lot of people. Michigan Daffodil. <laughs> yeah, um, I mentioned Art, the Lonely Prepper, because he's the one that sent it to us. But yeah, I'm going to be in trouble with Mama Bear. <laughs> uh, no, what's what's going on? I mean, like we're in high speed gardening. Everything is green. I, I took a, a, a second to uh, mow a little grass to get Amy ahead for tomorrow because I'm going back to work tomorrow for the next two days. And uh, like after we were over there helping my nanny, uh, who is Darlene. She's in the chat sometimes, not tonight, because she's got rehearsal. But uh, <clears throat> I've been helping her out, um, doing doing things. You know, her her husband, my godfather, passed away in December, so uh, we're all kind of adjusting to to life without him. And uh, and she's in the process of purchasing a new house, so uh, we're doing what we can to help out. She's the, she's she's living in an older older model trailer house now mobile home mobile home sorry mobile home trailer house sounds so trashy <laughs> not really but anyway some people think it uh so she's she's in an older home now and she's buying one to replace it so i and i'm so happy helping uh we're, we're doing what we can to help her out so it's it's exciting it is i love to be part of it it is exciting but it's an emotional time it, for her it, yeah it is. So it's it's been rough. Reagan, I'm working Saturday, not Sunday. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> it, she, yeah, it's it's definitely been a, an emotional experience. She's, she's starting a new chapter in a new house and having to move and pack up all of his things, and you know, so it's it, it's it's rough. And they were in this process together before he um, before went into he the hospital. Sick. And um, she had to start the process all over again because her income changed, losing him. And so the financing had to had to start completely over from square one. So we're hoping to get that finished pretty soon. Yep. And then we can start rebuilding the bridge. The bridge. That's what I'm so excited about. 
I'm really excited about the breach because if if you don't know um, Hurricane Delta, which is the second major <laughs> hurricane of the season of the hurricane season of 2020, um, was a flood a, a major flooding event, and uh, it lifted our bridge off of the support. Well, it pulled the supports up out of the ground because the bridge was so buoyant, so much wood. It floated. It pulled the supports right out of the ground, and it like moved it. And it's anyway, it's it was really heartbreaking to see something that we worked so hard on to be destroyed like that. So looking forward to building a new one. And that's the one. The oh. bridge connects us to my name, mm -hmm. Darnie. Hard to imagine mowing grass. It's snowing here. It's like oh. where you be. Wow. Amy, could you take his shirts and have a blanket made with her for her with quilt backing? Possibly. Possibly. It depends because I know his daughter has asked for a lot of his t-shirts. So I think she has a craft kind of thing in mind. I think. So I don't want to overstep anything. You know, remember we did have um, the channel shirt yeah, we had one specially made for him. It was purple. It's the only one like it. I know, but it had a hole in the front. Oh, he did. He still wore it, but he, he wore he wore that thing proud. <laughs> he wore it all the time. <laughs> but yeah, um, he did. He had a hole right in the right in the front, like around his belly button, because I used to poke him in the belly. <laughs> And then he started wearing a t-shirt under it, so I couldn't do that. Uh, so. We keep, my computer's trying to update stuff now. Uh, I would like to make a pillow out of one of his shirts. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I'm just, I'm wore out. Oh, we worked at well, the Well, I've been up since 5.30 this morning. Which reminds me, um, I'm going to end up probably wearing my big stupid hat. <laughs> I, that's what I call it. It's a straw hat. It, it looks a lot like Doug's from um, Doug and Stacy. But, it, I mean, if, if I do start wearing it, it's definitely not a gimmick. It's to, kept, to help keep the sun off of me so much because it is exhausting. <clears throat> And I might I might take his um <laughs> homestead shirt and patch the hole. When, Wendy, that's feeling. nothing new. I mean uh no, seriously though, I haven't really been I haven't been paying attention to any of that stuff. Yeah. I've been enjoying we yeah, we've been outside working. pretty much more <laughs> morning tonight. And I'm really I'm really enjoying not having all that political junk on my mind, truthfully. But we're we're focusing on expanding where we can and fitting as many plants into the garden as we can and um, our boat the the buckets that we we did a video when we, when did we do that the container the big um, lick tubs we've gotten those seeded I don't think yeah. those are all going to be herbs I've got uh, parsley cilantro sage I don't know what all you put in there because I was busy working on something else while you were doing that there's something else <clears throat> oh swiss char i've got two buckets of each now we just have to keep the ducks out of them oh those ducks are driving there's, me crazy the black duck we've got two female free range muscovy ducks and i love having them around i really do it's just <laughs> Any new fruit trees? No, not yet. But I would. I we're waiting on a Cape visit. I'm uh, <laughs> as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to experiment with some willow water and try to get some um, mulberry going. But anyway, um, the ducks they've been laying eggs, and they're not fertile. They're, we don't have a drake, so one of them, the black one, Ducky, it's Lucky and Ducky. Yeah, go not very, not very uh, imaginative, but whatever. So, uh, Ducky has been laying eggs. She's been scratching up areas of the raised bed soil. 
So what we did was we stopped repairing a spot and she keeps going back to the spot. So hope that's working so far. Well, today I moved the eggs into, a, I, we used one of the lick tubs and we cut a whole, like a divot in the side of it and filled it with hay and I put a couple of their eggs in it. So we shall see tomorrow morning, more than likely she's going to be back in her hole in the, the raised bed gardening anyway, but I guess I'm just going to have to plant around the duck hole. <laughs> it's oh, funny boy. because it's like really deep. So from the back door, all you can see is her head pop up. And she oh. knows I'm outside. She knows she's going to do that, but she does it anyway. I, I forgot some of the things that we had growing out there. We've, we've got marigold and squash and zucchini in there, too. I forgot to mention those. I've got calendula and sunflowers and... Oh yeah, um, I forgot about that. and the Malabar spinach is, is everything's coming, coming up. Uh, it's awesome. It's yeah. it's it's really cool. <laughs> I love this time of year. I think Reagan likes the word duck hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what was it that we talked about a while back? Oh, porch pudding. At least duck hole is better than porch pudding. <laughs> wow. But yeah, the the spring has been wonderful. The temperature was what 80, 80 something this morning, and it's gonna be forty five tonight. <laughs> Did you just kick the chair? Apparently, I just found a bruise on my knee. I mean, on my shin. Ow. Yep, right there. God. Hey, Amanda. When <laughs> it's not uh, blazing hot yet. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been pretty pretty fairly warm and a little muggy. But the last couple of days we've had a cool front come through. I know that I know that joke. Yep. <laughs> How to catch a polar bear. Um it's been a little muggier than usual. The badgers? last couple of days we had a cold no. front come through. And so it's gonna be in the forties tonight, but the, the great part is it's warm during the day and the humidity is way low. It's great. Yeah. Uh, North Shore Preparedness. I just watched your video. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I had a hard time with the wind noise. And we have the same issue, too, with our yeah uh, archaic little setup that we have. Ooh. Uh, Rebecca Davis. Yeah, I've heard some places are getting snow and stuff still, like not too far away from us. Oh, let me finish that thought though, because that sounded probably rude. But Sean at North Shore Preparedness, I watched the I, I watched the video. The 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 wind noise, yeah, it sucked. Yeah, to put it to put it bluntly, but the message was good. It was about bartering, and uh, so if you haven't seen that video from North Shore Preparedness, you definitely should. But Brett's a perfectionist. When it comes to the videos, I'm I'm more critical of myself though. To be to, uh -huh. to be completely honest, I'd watch a video and notice notice the the wind noise, but eh, doesn't bother me. <clears throat> Mr. Perfectionist over here though. Yeah. <laughs> Just bring it on, get a hard freeze and lose all. Oh. Possible snow in our forecast, but it won't stick. Uh, Spring Meadow Farm and Garden. Hello, I can do snow this time of year. That's crazy. Mm -mm. So if, if we could, everybody here in the chat, if if you could let us know where you are, where you're from, uh, that would be cool. Just general area. No, you don't, Sean. You make and great if, videos. And if you'd like to add uh, what kind of weather you're having, that would be cool, too. I know where, let's see, I know where North Shore Preparedness is. I know where we are. We're in southwest Louisiana near Lake Charles. Um, I'm glad you know where we are. Yeah. Albany Mountain Homestead, I believe, <laughs> is in Arkansas, right? North Shore Preparedness is in Canada. <laughs> um, on the north shore of Lake Ontario. Uh, the Prepared Christian is in northwest Ohio. Rebecca yeah, I knew a hard night in Oklahoma. Cold and very windy. Central Florida. I thought uh, I was going to mention you there, Glenn. Glenn uh, How to Garden is in Florida. 
All the things wow. they do is in Nevada. Albany Mountain is in Arkansas, north central Arkansas. She oh. said down to 31 tomorrow night. Oh, look, another Floridian spring meadow farm and garden. Georgia. Oregon. Central. See? Told y'all. Chelsea was headed west. It wasn't me that argued no, with oh, you. That's it, right. was it was Katie. It was Katie. Sorry. Sorry. That kid goes around the block and loses direction. So, I mean. <laughs> Love you, Katie, in case you're listening. <laughs> Southern Boy Prepper is from southwest Louisiana as well. 44 and rain at the moment. Oh, my gosh. Firefly Farm is in uh, uh, New York City. I think it's North of New what, York. City. 60, 62 here. Uh, right at the moment. It's it's a little windy. There's a slight chill in the wind. That's about it. Yeah, it, it's nice. Yesterday, um <clears throat> oh yesterday until about probably three or four PM it was it was really uh balmy. It was just humid. Mm. It was kinda it was getting gross. <laughs> and then all yeah. of a sudden a strong north wind started coming in and it just took the humidity away. It was great. Yeah. We had a couple of days in the in the 80s with with high humidity and it was starting to get really uncomfortable which i know it's going to get that way but i can <laughs> sure wait i'll be all right to wait till june july Stop. my coffee cup is not okay not for you to rub on and knock it off the table Hopefully we don't have a cake situation over there well the coffee cup is empty but people don't really know what you're swatting at probably. there's a cat so, okay there we go Yep. <laughs> Poor Lori. She's always talking about how cold she is. I feel for her because I know. I, I, I can only imagine. I, I know what I feel like in the middle of our winter here. It's got to be like <laughs> times 10 up there. Maybe that cool dry air makes it to central Florida. Uh, I don't know. Florida like has its own climate. It just does its own thing. It's Steve. <laughs> Really? And Cyrano? <laughs> Come on, man. What did I do to you? Oh, the, I didn't <laughs> want the cat to knock my coffee cup off the table and onto the chair. And, you know, I only have like three of those things left because Abby keeps breaking them. What? My coffee cup. Oh. Rain and snow two days from now. Oh, no. Oh. Lori. <laughs> We're going to wake up tomorrow with five degrees. Oh, in Mississippi. I was going to say, not here. We're not. <laughs> okay, do your whole Sean in Alaska bit. You got to do it. Okay, Sean in Alaska. We just want to know. We want to know your name and we want to know where you're from. <laughs> and he's going to say, Steve, in Utah. I'd probably come up with his, a whole new thing. Luckily, see, the other day, Sean in Alaska was live with Sean from North Shore Preparedness, and they did a joint live stream. <laughs> they did a joint live stream on North Shore Preparedness channel. If you missed it, please go back and watch that. It was worth it. Um, Sean in Alaska could not see the chat. Thankfully, because he'd have been. Which is good, yeah. because he would have been so distracted by Amy and me. <laughs> 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 we were having a good time in the chat, though. We were. Welcome, Farmer Nadell and Hat Creek Homestead. Good to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, we were goofing around in the chat, having some fun. <laughs> we're in a kilt. Yes, Sean in Alaska wears so, a kilt. Yeah, out I, in the frigid was, wilderness of Alaska. I was unaware until the live stream with the Sean and Sean. Um, apparently, the kilt is my fault. Mm -hmm. It was our fault. He talked about it in a live stream. You don't remember that? Oh, I do. I do. And he <laughs> said something about, well, next time, next time I do a video or whatever it was, uh, I'm gonna wear a kilt. 
and I about broke out because he was in Alaska and it's freaking cold. But Lori says she remember. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was one of our <laughs> live streams that he was in. But and I kept thinking, dude, to be fair, you're gonna you're gonna freeze your jewels off. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I say a lot of goofy stuff to well, a lot of people. <laughs> that's true. And he did. He wore the kilt, and now he's been wearing the kilt, and he likes the kilt in the in the frozen forest of Alaska. The <coughs> frigidness. I, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't dislike bagpipes, but let's see. How do I say this? freedom <laughs> bagpipes bagpipes are a big thing at firemen funerals so i have an aversion to bagpipes it it they're beautiful it, the, the music is beautiful but it's kind of it, it it kind of depresses me honestly read north shores first oh nice I didn't realize that either. Just sort of started it all over. Okay, cool. Nothing good be his porch, please. That was a really silly live stream when we started talking about the porch. Oh was, my god! That was probably the hardest. I think I laughed. I think I laughed myself to sleep that night. Oh, that was because I couldn't stop thinking about. It. <laughs> that was great. Okay, question, guys. What do you think about us moving the live stream back an hour? Back to? It would be back to 8 p.m. Central. 8 p.m. Central, like we used to have it. Because we don't, the reason why we had moved it up up an hour is because we were having to pick up Abby from work. Well, now that Abby's, <laughs> no, <laughs> now, that, uh, now that Abby's driving herself, we don't have that. Well, and the time changed. It's getting darker <clears throat> later. So we're working out in the yard a little bit longer each that, day. It'll and... give us an extra hour that we can work outside before coming in to do the live stream. Just kind of getting feelers out there. That time would be better for me because of supper and cleaning up, no matter. Okay. See, and that's kind of what I was thinking too, is because of supper times you know people are eating and you know yeah mama bear one hour later right so <laughs> <be better. laughs> okay oh. Fine. oh man dawn you make me feel bad uh um, that would turn that would make it uh nine eastern very bad we're only on for an hour an hour and a half yeah you could do it. it just it would work out better for us if you move it to nine eastern competing with angry prepper well we might just have to take that risk i don't know we'll kind of see how it goes because it's <clears> what 7 30. we could ask you know it it's it's dusk now so yeah i mean <laughs> I don't know. You don't get know. the you get the new we'll kind job of get a feel. And, and stuff and uh, yeah. Who knows if 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 I get the promotion that I'm looking to get, our whole weekly, like our whole day of the week might change. I don't know. Don't know what's going to work then. Yeah, I don't know. Only if Amy wears pigtails. That's not. <laughs> you did before, for Halloween. Yeah. You know how long it took. Abby had to help me with that. I did believe. you braid those? I don't remember. Or did you just? No, I don't think so. Just ponytail. I don't know. I don't remember. I remember it took a while because we couldn't get the line on my head straight. <laughs> uh, pigtails in your beard? That's cool. <laughs> Time doesn't matter to me. I will catch live while doing things or watch it later when I yeah. Actually, I think I did do my hair and pigtails. That was the Halloween live. But nobody was paying attention to me because you were attempting to dance like MC Hammer. Very poorly. <laughs> yeah. Very poor attempt. It was hilarious. However, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think.
think I'm going to grab another cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy says she remembers that. Yeah. I think a lot of people remember that. I'd rather not remember that. <laughs> now my beard has bearded me. <laughs> oh. Brent's beard had an envy too. It disappeared. Oh my. You okay? Yeah. Old people disease? My arthritis <laughs> is acting up. Oh, that hurts uh, right coffee is my blood type. Mm. Brett, do you break dance? No, he dances and breaks things. <laughs> Mostly myself. Well, and my vacuum cleaner. <sighs> you almost stepped on my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> that, were, that vacuum cleaner tried to get me. Uh, the vacuum cleaner didn't move. It was on the charger. That's what the vacuum cleaner wants you to think. Okay. Um. That'd be a form of break dancing. <laughs> oh man, that was great. <laughs> oh, fart hip dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It, it it was not graceful at all. It was it was pretty terrible to say the least. But uh we were up this morning pretty early and We've been out and about, and that's that's kind of why we wanted to we talk about moving the live streams back a little bit, so that we can have more time outside and uh, more time to kind of close things up in the evenings. Speaking of live stream times, let me go ahead and go ahead and announce that now, and again later. But <clears throat> now, since I'm back to work, um, next week is going to be Wednesday. Oh, that's right. So mark your calendars, <coughs> set your alarm bells, whatever, whatever you got to do. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking, Mama Bear. That way, most people are finished eating by then. Um, you know, the sun is starting to set, except for people in Alaska, because you know theirs doesn't sure. ever go. What time? What time is sunset? Uh, April. <laughs> He said he'd be waiting until about midnight. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if we move it back to eight, too, um, we don't have to change our intro. Oh, sure. Because the little intro video that played, uh, it says that we're eight central, which has not been accurate for a while. I don't know when. It's been a long time that we've changed it. Uh, when Abby started working a year ago. Wow. Okay. Dawn. Just do <laughs> pay me to do it, but I appreciate <laughs> your super chat. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to put more exclamation points. I love it. I love the excitement that she brings. Dawn's awesome. Yeah. I could drink coffee now. Um, come drink some coffee. Oh, that's right. You're in Mississippi. Uh, Southern Boy Prepper, another five bucks. We appreciate Let's see you, a moonwalk. Uh, yeah, not happen that. You would yeah. have to get, you would have time to get a cup of coffee first. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Oh, Lordy. Look, I'm... You probably just saw me get up and get coffee. My knee is killing me right oh, now. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll just beam right over it. That's that orange construction stuff. What's happened here? They're hanging garlic. Oh, hanging garlic. It's hanging it to dry. Okay. Who is this? Lori. Nice. That's a great idea. It is. We've, we've done the... we've. The, no, you, do you, you have done the braided garlic. Yeah, I've done that because before. Because I can barely braid my hair. It worked out good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah, what, what, since it's hard to show you the picture, I don't know that it's going to work out well, but it's... The, the the orange construction netting is laid flat like this, and the garlic is placed upside down so that the... I don't know if you guys can see this, because I can't see the... Okay, hang on. Let me see. Oh, that one. 
Well, no, no. See, it's all flushed out. Uh, Let me try. Up a little. There you go. So the the cloves. I mean the uh, the garlic heads are up on top with the tails. Or is it tails? Yeah, through leaves, the through whatever. the netting. So they're basically hanging to okay. dry. Now let's try to get this to focus back. These on scarf us. hangers, the metal hanger with. Mm, that's not working. Screw it all up. I mean, if you need. There we go. Okay. It is a good idea. I, I we've heard I've heard of doing the braided garlic and stuff like that, but I'm never really good at it, and it always tends to break. Or come apart, or it doesn't hold, and I don't know. It just drives me nuts. Oh, on the foraging uh, side of things, green, I tried. Yeah, the name of that is construction fencing, and it comes in green and white too. Oh, I didn't know that. I've only seen it in orange. Um, I got, I got a chance to try cattail this week. The and once once our cattails are a little more mature uh i may do a video on that but uh <clears throat> basically it's the inside uh way down deep in where it meets the ground but the inside of it and it's just the tin the very tender part of the leaves and it's really tasteless it, it's like the I, I compare the texture to like a cucumber but there's no taste i didn't find any taste at all melinda hello Firefly said they call it snow fencing there too. Why is it snow fencing? How do you fence off snow? I don't know. Why do we have hurricane fencing? It doesn't stop a hurricane. Well, true. <coughs> they seeds for cat. Can you seed cattails? I guess you could. That would be the corn dog things, huh? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> The corn dog on top of a cattail is all the seed. Okay. And, it looks uh, like celery. <clears throat> yeah, it, I don't know. There is some kind of um, slime in it that's supposed to act like a natural lidocaine. Oh, okay. It catches the wind and drifts before it drifts onto the road. Ah. See, we call it construction netting or fencing or anything like that. And all they do is use it Eat the cat because it's roots. bright orange. You can see it. And uh, they're just like barricading roads and stuff with it. Yeah, I, I needed to look into doing stuff with cattails because we have no shortage of cattails. Oh, right. Or, yes, they grow in marshy, uh, marshy areas, swampy areas around ponds and low-lying areas that stay wet. These just kind of seeded themselves. I, I, when we first came we here, there was the nothing in the pond. There, it was just bare because it was still a pretty new pond. Cattails clean does. the water, yes. <clears throat> and uh, yes, cattails clean the water. So be careful where you where you source your cattails from because what's it, whatever is in that water is going to be in that cattail as well. Yeah, so if there's pesticides or anything like that in the water, then it's going to be in the cattails as well. The whole... You can use the whole cattail. For yeah, for various things. Yes, I knew that. Okay. You can. Uh, <clears throat> I'm mean, not can, eating the corn dog things. I don't care no, how much mustard you put on them. But you can you can thicken your flour with it, I believe. Uh, fire starter. You can weave the the leaves, make baskets and stuff. Yeah. I've never I've never been good. I've never at dug weaving. up a tuber to try it. I haven't done that yet. No, because they're in the pond. I'm not digging down. Some in of the, those are in the, on the bank. Okay, well, I'm not digging in the pond because you know I'm going to fall hit first in that thing. And then I'll never get out. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> you know damn well. <laughs> Eat them when they're green and tender, the corn dog thing. <laughs> oh, do you really? Are you joking? No, I've heard that. I've heard that. Huh. But I've never seen them green. I, I guess it's because I don't really pay attention to them until they're cattails. I have, honestly. There's uh, there's actually two parts to it when it's green. There's uh, the lower part, which is the female part of the flower. It's flower is what it is. It's corn dog. 
there's a the lower part is the female and then the upper part is the male once the female part gets pollinated that's what grows into the corn dog stuff the corn dog looking thing and then the top part just goes bare interesting we've had a lesson on permaculture pond corn dogs <laughs> take out your pond mustard <laughs> Put it on that sounds gross <laughs> let's not get into like <clears throat> all of that craziness you can't grow corn dogs what are you doing where are you going I'm going to get coffee get some coffee it's good you all right Mm -hmm. Lauren just said pond pudding. Oh, <laughs> Weird. That sounds so gross. Oh, man. Well, last week you opened up all the windows and had everybody listening to the frogs. Oh, that's right. I did. I could have had the windows open today, but you were cutting grass and I really <laughs> didn't want that dust. Sean ball. says, great. Now I want a freaking corn dog. I have some in the freezer. That'd be a long trip. They, for take, corn dog, huh? they take about 18 minutes to cook. If you start now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not even Reagan to, could get here fast enough for a corn dog tonight. He's in Mississippi. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the only one, the only one in the chat tonight who could get here in time for a corn dog would be Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she'd want a corn dog. She'd probably want coffee. Mm. How the garden says corn dog sounds good. I'm so far away. <laughs> Eggs Benedict. I don't even know what Eggs Benedict is, honestly. I have to try uh, poached eggs. It was Sean talking about that one day. I gotta get Abby to cook me some poached eggs. What is poached eggs? Is that when you hunt them out of season? Stop! <laughs> Pafford. Come get you some coffee, Reagan. 30 mile an hour sustained winds? Dang. <clears throat> says you boil them it's, it's like a boiled egg but without the shell if I'm, if I'm right you crack an egg and put it in oil it's a fried egg it's poached I think so I think, I think so egg drop soup <laughs> <clears throat> hello carpet self-reliance welcome is he right Sean Ham on an English muffin and holidays hollandaise sauce. That's yeah. That's the eggs Benedict. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Boil salt water and crack the egg into the water. Okay. I've never eaten one because it's just weird. It's a boiled egg, but it's boiled without the shell on. So the egg just goes blue in the water. There's it's so many different, funny. There's so many different ways to cook egg, but it's still egg. And it still tastes like egg, and it's, I still love it. I would try it. I would try almost whatever. <laughs> you sounded slow. <laughs> that made it even better. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those streams. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so, poached boy. eggs are good. I'm going to have to try them. Sean was the one telling me in North Shore. He was telling me about them on. Uh, we were talking on. Uh, oh, we were using a chat like Streamyard, Streamyard for a chat. It's my distraction again. Hold on. It's a helicopter. I know, but I won't see where it is. It's in the sky. No. Kidding. <laughs> if it's not, then we're in trouble. No, I don't think that was a military chopper. It's low though. Ever eat an egg cracked into gumbo? Oh. Well, I'm not cracked no. in the gumbo. We didn't crack like, them in there. Boil them in the gumbo and then peel them. No. 
No, water Danny boils separate. them in water. Then drop, then peel. Then peels them and then drops then them drop in, the, lets them soak up the yeah, those the are roux pretty. and yumminess. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had egg drop soup. Does that have mushrooms in it? Uh, it can. I think it most Chinese stuff does, and uh. That's if if it's got mushrooms in it or even the chance to have mushrooms in it. That's why I don't eat it. Okay, maybe I'm thinking oh, of something. Eggs else. and gumbo, yes. Oh, Randy says not usually. I'm gonna have to look that up then. <clears throat> no mushrooms and egg drop soup. You might be thinking of pho. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's there's no not funny way to say that. What the hell? It's it's an Asian soup. It's called pho. It's P H O, but it's pronounced pho. <laughs> not kidding. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. Oh, it doesn't have any mushrooms in it all the time. <laughs> oh. Okay, most Chinese places I've seen <clears throat> this like egg soup stuff. And it usually um the places here anyway, it's had mushrooms in it. Oh, a Vietnamese broth soup. Thank you for that clarification. I know like the various Asian cultures, like they get, they can get upset if you confuse them. And that's why I like, I, I try to stay, cause I don't know the difference. I just know like the food is good. <laughs> right, yeah. Oysters new. I will eat them fried if they're like really crispy. I don't like the, the texture of the, like gummy bear texture, it's gross. Yeah, like the ocean loogie. I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. <thank> really? <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> you got mad last week because I was talking about my booger wash and you were talking about <laughs> ocean loogies. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh look, Southern Bless came in just in time. <laughs> he was probably in here busting out laughing for a few minutes and took him a while to sight. Sugar free oh, I've heard about the sugar free gummy bears from Yeah, not doing that Harry either. Ball. You may have a texture issue with the egg. See, and I like <laughs> boiled eggs. I just I don't know. Poached eggs just always look funny to me. <laughs> I guess because they're not egg shaped anymore. When you crack them in the water, it just. Bleh. See the raw oysters on the half shell. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Melinda. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We had one of those streams. <laughs> She's talking about how good that is. You're talking about it's. Devil. Look, as far as deviled eggs go, the the best deviled eggs I've ever had was when you made those. Uh, deviled quail eggs, little bite sized deviled eggs. So much work goes into them for you just to go. <laughs> Rayleigh ate oh. 82 eggs. Oh, they're so or good, eyes. though. Yeah, she counted them. Yeah, I'm with you there, Reagan. Mm -hmm. No oysters. Mm -mm. Nope. It, I, I can't handle the taste, the, the texture of like. Swallowing big slimy booger. <laughs> just can't do it. Mm -mm. Egg on a half shell? No, I mm -mm. no. Yeah. Okay, Rayleigh is my niece, and she was this was a few years ago, so she was probably around six, seven years old. And oh, now yeah. it was over the course of an entire day, and the kids were running around. It was a 
it was some kind of Easter party or something that we were having. I think the kids were actually swimming that day. But um, so they were in and out of the pool, burning off calories and stuff. But I'm sure she smelled pretty nice for about a week. Oh, oh, yeah. Because she did. She counted. She ate 82 halves, egg halves. Now, granted, they're quail eggs, so they're yeah, like. Yeah, so uh, in, in recipes, I know for sure, um, three quail eggs equal one chicken egg. Right. So basically divide that. Divide 82 by 3, and whatever that is would be... Well, the, she ate halves. Oh, halves. So divide that by another 2. So, hey, Siri, what's 82 divided by 6? 82 divided by 6 is approximately 13.6666. All right. So almost 14 eggs, <laughs> the equivalent of... I you have to ask your phone instead of just opening it and using the calculator. Well, I mean, you, could, you got pen and paper. You could have done the math. Huh? You have a calculator on your phone, too. That was easier. The wind is calming down. Here I too. love deviled eggs. So it's hard to tell. I don't eat like deviled eggs. I've made them, but I don't <laughs> eat them. Um, I'm not a fan. No. I, I mean, I'll eat them. But I don't like crave pickled eggs. I think pickled. I'm not a big fan of vinegar. I like deviled eggs though. Speaking of, that was like the best thing to do. Pickles. With Is Easter John eggs. still here? Um, that was weird. There's no heirloom permaculture. Oh. The guy, he's still indebted to me. Mm-hmm. We need to pickle some eggs. <clears throat> um. Come on over, get you some coffee and a recipe, and I can show you how to do it. Now, pickled beets, pickled beets are good because that doesn't, to me, that doesn't taste like vinegar. I have a recipe for pickled quail eggs that is, I've heard it's pretty good. Oh, soft shell fish like eggs? There was one guy. Soft shell. There was one guy that was buying the pickled quail eggs by the court in Jennings. And he'd sit down and eat an entire quart in a sitting. Well, that guy, yeah, he said, if you make them, I'll buy them as much as you can. So we made a big batch and never heard from the guy. So that didn't work out. Need some pickled beets. Uh, that's something I've never done. No, I have some in the fridge that came from a, a local um, lady who likes to can stuff. So I could definitely find you, though. They're um, good too. Miss Evelyn definitely has Evelyn, some. Yeah, she she leaves them in big chunks. Oh, it's so good. How do people not get sick when eating that many? Um, oh, the eggs. Yeah. She's a kid and she eats and like she's invincible as far as the food. <laughs> she got a. Is the um, if you saw the the video where me and a child were walking around foraging in the front yard, that was really. I don't know how to pickle them. And she was she was a sport about it. She tried everything that I tried, violets and um, thistle and redbud, all kinds of stuff. Oh, the wind did not calm down. I'm looking out those windows no. over there. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find a um a video. I'll do some research, Reagan. So pickled beets and pickled eggs. You can pickle the, the regular chicken eggs just like you do the quail eggs, but obviously you wouldn't be able to fit the same amount in a jar. I think you can fit about, if I remember, it's about six six chicken eggs in a pint. Is what you can I don't know. I'd have to look up my um, my recipes Ooh, and stuff. dandelion jelly. That sounds Ooh. good. Ooh, that we did. Me. Oh. Let me just go ahead and grab it. Oh, God. Oh, old guy syndrome. <laughs> okay, I need to look up for Reagan. Let me see. It beats. Check this out. And eggs. Well, the egg recipe, I know see. where it is. Dandelion je looks, jelly, just like honey. Okay, that looks actually darker than what it is on the video 
It's it's like it, a chartreuse, a yellowish green color, actually, in real life. It looks like honey, mm. but in liquid. But this is some white clover tea that we made. And uh, me personally, I mean, we sweetened it with a little honey. With, with a little it more doesn't have much of a flavor, but it can be added it's, to other. It's a very, very light mm -hmm. flavor. I'm I'm a fan of flavor. You dye eggs for Easter. Mm, we did when the kids were little. And what Not we, so much anymore because, I mean, we really don't care what color the eggs are. We just eat them. The way we made this was one cup of fresh white clover flowers and four cups four cups of uh boiling water and we steeped it uh, it's, uh it says you can steep it anywhere from 30 minutes to four hours well we ended up leaving and doing some shopping so it steeped for us for about three and a half hours mm -hmm. but it's it's all right but they say the longer you leave it the long the bolder the flavor so right. after 30 minutes i i'm it probably I'm, would just taste like grass water after 30 minutes wow yeah i'll, I'll be adding I'll other herbs add other things to it to flavor the tea chamomile or lavender would be yeah see but we wanted to try it by itself first to kind of see what it tasted like so we would know what to add to it i'm thinking possibly a mint because we have some peppermint. A little mint, I think, would do good yeah. in there. I think it was, hey, mind and body co I'll see you there. I don't remember who it was that sent me. I have orange mint and pineapple mint seeds. So I need to start some more buckets. Somebody tried to send us chocolate mint last year. And it... I think that was a... It was live plants. And yeah. it didn't do the greatest in the mail. No, I, it struggled and struggled. And I tried and tried and tried. I babied it and babied it. And it, it survived, but it didn't. It did not thrive at all. Queen Anne's Lace Jelly. Huh. Uh, before too much longer, we're going to see... Oh, this is a weird thing. Uh, Melinda, you may have noticed this uh, if... if You've been uh, out and about. In the past, every other year up until this one, the dewberries flower. And then by the time they're putting on berries, then the blackberries are starting to put flower. They're all flowering all at the same time right now. That's odd. And somebody in a, I'm, see, I'm part of a group on Facebook of uh, foragers in Louisiana. And somebody made a post about that. Mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah. yeah I thought so good. too, but when we were cutting them the other day, I mentioned that. And um, I don't remember what you said. Hey, Starla. But we were busy and I didn't really focus on it either. That's a good excuse for being late. I'll tell you that much. Potting up tomatoes. I need to do some more seed cups. Because I've, I've got some calendulas from um, <clears throat> Michigan Daffodil. Weird. Glenn says his dewberries aren't flowering yet. Ours are full. You're probably warmer than us, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> hey, we've got 38 thumbs up. Let's and see I have if we to do some more um, marigolds. Because um, I only got two seed seedlings to come up. Out of a thing, I did. I started four seed cups because I didn't want to overdo it. I was afraid that I maybe put too many seeds in each, um, because they're so super <coughs> tiny, and I didn't want a bazillion plants coming up. So I backed off, and now I don't have enough. So I'm gonna start those again. I went through the other day and thinned out the um, Malabar Malabar spinach. It was. We, we we just it, it went to seed at the end of last season so it's dropped all of that seed and everything down in the same bucket Should that it's have. in two or three weeks ago i'm going to bring the dog out and there was probably two to three hundred seedlings coming up so we thinned those out to about i don't know probably 40 or so uh, uh and we'll 
we'll need to go we'll need to separate those out so thin those out some more. Hey. Hey, go outside. She don't hear nothing. That's our little Chihuahua. She's old and she can't hear as much as she used to. <clears throat> Hello, Christy Betts. <clears throat> so we're yeah, we're trying to do as much as we can. We're helping my nanny out. Uh as much as we can over there at her place if you weren't here earlier when i said so she's uh she's getting a new manufactured home to replace the one that she's in so that's that's going to be a process and we're going to help out as much as as we can on that while growing as much food as we can and preserving as much of that food as we can foraging I'm just so excited with the, the spring. I don't want to waste it because before too much longer, summer is going to be here. It's going to be uncomfortable to be outside. I want to be outside now and enjoying as much as possible. <clears throat> oh, corn. Corn seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's see if she's got a place set aside for the trouble is we don't have we don't plant in the ground. Um, everything's in raised beds now, Henry, and I don't know if that soil is going to be uh, good for the corn for corn. If it's like seems like it would be easy for wind to knock it over in that type of soil. I don't know if it's a good idea to try it in there. Then again. It may surprise me. Alternative is in ways to recycle products so you can save money, such as incubator mate. Ooh, Starla. Have you got any um, videos up yet? Let me see. Hopefully, I don't mess up the stream by searching. No, I can't. Uh, when I search you, it doesn't come up. Just getting ready to get the camera. Okay. Well, be sure and let us know you have some videos up and because uh, I would I'd be happy to check that out and uh, and share out your channel if I enjoy those videos. I have a feeling I would. <clears throat> oh, you can search using your phone as a mother. Huh? Okay. Sending, sending seeds for, wait, sending us seeds? Is that what you're saying, Starla? For a giveaway? All right, let's see. <coughs> okay, cool. Yeah, we're, we're still planning to do a giveaway when we hit 5,000 subscribers. We want to do a big giveaway, and we are at, let's see. Four thousand five hundred and seventy two subscribers right now. So we have a little over 400 to go. Only mods that can really the 
go to. I can go, but I can go to the channel again. Huh? Did YouTube bring that back? What? You can click the the channel and go to the channel. Look. Go to channel. Oh, that's cool. Can anybody do that? Let me know. I can't when I'm not on mods. Okay. That makes. Oh, yeah. That is that's a great feature. Great. Great feature because moderators. The hardest thing about losing that feature when you're moderating for someone else, and you don't recognize the channel, and they come in and they say something kind of sketchy. You can go to their channel, or you used to be able to go to the channel and and see. It, whether they're a, a troll or not, because some people just create a channel just to be trolls or, or an account, I should say. As long as it's your channel or your mod. Okay. That's great. I didn't know that was, I didn't know they brought that back. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see, where was I? Awesome. So there, yeah. Start that. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as you start mm -hmm. making videos, Starla, again, just let us know, and we'll be able to share you out. So, wait, let me try it. <laughs> what? Drone me a corn dog. <laughs> Who said that? Jess. North Shore prepared. I don't know if a drone can go that far. <clears throat> There was a bad troll over at Mac and Patty's live Tuesday. He had several accounts he used. Uh, uh, one after another, like whack-a-mole. Those are kind of fun sometimes. Is that like the one? Is that the same one who got Miss Lippy that time? Oh. Uh, I forgot his name. Drone me. <laughs> Hashtag drone me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, That's funny. Yeah, I... But I believe the reason why they, I think the reason why YouTube originally took that feature away was because of those. Uh, sub for sub. The sub for sub, the grow, the watch and grow peoples. And that's what they, oh. that's why they had a live stream was so that people could click on each other. and. <clears throat> okay, Mama Bear, um, <clears throat> definitely send me an email about the lupa seeds. And oh. um, make sure and include an address on where you want me to send those. It was because of bots, too. Yeah. I need to lock up the birds. Uh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. You're feeling sick, Kiri. I hope you're well soon. Definitely adding you to the bird list. Well, look at Bub. And keep Kate in your prayers. I have not heard from her this week, so um, I'm gonna have to do a check-in with her tomorrow. She had a she had a fun live stream Sunday. Yeah, but I haven't heard from her since then. So Hello, Warren, I did text her this week and she hasn't answered. But there's a lot of times that she doesn't answer text messages because she doesn't look at her phone much. So. <clears throat> wild sand plum cutting. I've never heard of wild sand plums. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I haven't either. Thank you for that, so Farmer Nadella. Can you explain Appreciate to me what We're that is? Close to fifty on fifty thumbs up on the stream tonight. That's my goal every week. <laughs> Sand plums, I think we may have. I've never heard of a sand plum. Well, to be fair, um, there's little to no sand around us. It's marshy. Oh, well, so. right. I'm learning how to plant crawfish. <laughs> oh, well, come out here after a good rain and they're all over the place. I've been sick and had someone knock down my bedroom window at 1.30 a.m. Whoa. That is creepy. Uh, 
there's a, a friend of ours, a guy that lives down the road from us. He's a barber buddy of ours. Who, uh, hey, Grammy Karen, welcome. Of berries that grow he, on the side of the road here. His name is Mike, and uh, he's got a business, and he raises crawfish. In Louisiana, we have crawfish fields. It's a crop, and um, it, it, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Anyway, it's, a, it's about two feet of water. It's it, it's a small pond. There's crawfish ponds with there's uh, levees around them, and they're flooded with just a little bit of water, and the, the crawfish are farmed that way. And uh, <clears throat> this guy, Mike, our friend, is stepping out of the box, or he has stepped out of the box, and he's raising his crawfish in a near organic way. Because a lot of the farmers, they use craw they use uh, chemicals to treat the water and blah, blah, blah. And this guy, Mike, has experimented. He, felt, he uses natural plants. My plants aren't natural. What am I trying to say here? He uses plants to to filter the water in a natural certain, way. Certain plants. Particular plants, yeah. And he said he's had the water tested, and it's near drinking water quality. So that's awesome. His crawfish are so clean. The water is clean. You can see down to the bottom of his pond <clears throat> at any given point. You know, it, it's fantastic. They're They're wonderful. They're like small lobsters. <laughs> so Reagan, if you ever get a chance to, you know, come visit and drink coffee, maybe we can go down to the crawfish farm. Because um that's pretty awesome. And uh I raise plants for him for for my uh peppers usually. I think I think all I'm growing this oh and okra. I'm growing sounds peppers like, and okra. Sounds like fish farming where they farm salmon and other varieties, the fish is hard enough. No, that's um, yeah, that's that's a bad thing. The way they the crawfish farm, the crawfish are still living in the mud, that which is their natural habitat. It's just in an uh, a controlled environment, I guess. Um, it's not a lot of the crawfish farmers use uh, pesticides <coughs> and things like that to kill off the grass and um, control the different forms of algae and things like that that grow. And what he's doing is he's using plants certain specific plants and aeration techniques to take care of the the algae and the fungus and and um bad plants right so it's it's really in an organic way and the crawfish are very very clean oh that would be cool oh so, that's awesome it's a lot with uh with lsu which is uh Louisiana State University. Uh, he's just an incredible guy. Are we are we all buffering? Is it our end? Mm -hmm. Patty says she's buffering. <coughs> it is windy oh, here, so better. it could be our internet connection. Yeah, our uh, we do have a wireless. Our internet comes wirelessly to a receiver outside. It's like a di it's, it's a dish, but it's not a satellite dish. It's not pointed at the sky. It's pointed about two miles away. Okay. And uh, so sometimes there can be interruptions there. Well, wind blowing pretty it's hard. It can knock good. the trees in front of the, we the tried, or whatever. We tried satellite internet, HughesNet, and it was just terrible. Um, well, it was terrible for what we do. Right. Live streaming was just not happening. We well, there's that. too much of a delay. And that's what it was. The mm -hmm. ping, if you know what that means, I don't really. Oh, they have the same thing, AT&T Wireless. <coughs> Ours is actually called Faster Cajun. It's a it's a local company here that doesn't. It's a, what it is here, uh, there's a fiber. Fiber optics goes to the cinder the broadcasting module i guess and then from there it's you know it's uh wireless to our receiver and then coax into the house 
All right. Love y'all too, Southern Blessed. Take care, Patty Mac. Yeah, um, HughesNet didn't do well for us. Not with the well, uploads. And hey, Jan. Well, uh, I, I got to say, though, um, for if you're just if you're just downloading and streaming and things like that, there's a little bit of a delay with HughesNet, but it was decent. There was a good, strong signal. Our problem was trying to live stream. The delay would not allow it. The worst issue that I had with HughesNet was trying to tell them that I wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> that was an interesting phone call. Abby can tell you all about that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was that was an interesting day. <laughs> what else have we done this week? I am collecting Danny's cinder block yeah. to work on a project. No. My, the joke, the ongoing joke with his, his godfather, Danny, and me was um, he knew that I had <coughs> cinder block gardens, the, the concrete blocks. It's concrete is what well, we Well, right. I, we call them cinder blocks, but it's actually Same concrete. Shape. Yeah. And um, he's got tons of them in his shop and laying around the yard. Um, I kept picking at him and telling him, I said, one of these days you're going to come home and all your, all your center blocks are going to be gone and they're going to be in my yard and I'll build a turnip garden with it. And he'd fuss me and fuss me. Well, he finally, he laid them all out in a platform in his shop and put a fridge on top of it and take them. And, um, now that he's, he's gone, the, you know, um, we're gathering up all the cinder blocks. I think I got eight today. <laughs> Hi, Destiny. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying the stream from New Iberia. We're planning, uh, at some point, we're planning to go to Avery Island. I think that's over by New Iberia. Yeah. <clears throat> we have we have tons of... At um, some point soon, I should say. Lufa seeds. I need, I need to pull those together, I guess, and put some on the Etsy store. Lufa seeds? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Cement and not the old right, cell that are right. actually made with cinder. No, these these yeah. are actually concrete blocks. Now, some of the ones that you picked up today. Well, I know those they, will be used in the cinder. garden. Um, and you I, can tell by the weight if yeah. they're if they're easy to pick up. They're cinder. That's the old style. Oh, Reagan wants to go oh, to Avery down Island from your house. That's cool. Reagan wants to go to Avery Avery Island when we go. Well, if you ever get a day off, I know, right? <laughs> uh. Well, we want to take my nanny, Darlene. So, uh, uh, hey, prep for attorney, brother Donnie. Uh, so, I'd, I'd love to go yeah, either pretty. this month or next month because that's when things are going to be the prettiest out there. Uh, Before a Avery it's Island, ridiculously <clears throat> hot. If you yeah. don't know what Avery Island is, let me give you a little quick rundown. Avery Island, Louisiana, is the one and only place on earth where Tabasco brand pepper sauce is made. Where the pepper sauce is made. The peppers are actually grown in Brazil. Right. Okay. Yeah. But this is the only place in, on earth that has the Tabasco factory. Right. Uh, and attached to that is Jungle Gardens, which is so beautiful mm -hmm. in the spring. I want to go and get some... <clears throat> traditional actually true tabasco seeds because you can buy you can, you buy, can buy the there, seeds huh? yeah, yeah you can buy the seeds there i love the green i love all the tabasco sauces um abby actually ate tabasco flavored ice cream while we were there and she loved it and loved it yeah the tabasco factory where they ferment the sauce yes mm -hmm. And that the fermentation room. Oh, I could stand Harvey, in there for hours. It smells so amazing. Harvey Black, <laughs> long time no see. Uh, yeah, you'll have to help me get video clips there for sure. Oh yeah, I'll put together a video for that. Um, 
the Tabasco the, the green sauce. where they ferment the sauce is, is in Avery Island, Louisiana. Is the green sauce jalapeno? I don't, it, uh, I don't remember. I usually stick with the I don't original know. I have to go look it up. red. I have the little bottles. I think. I think we still have some. I, mean, I don't think I've had the green. Uh, yes, we done. had some here. Did we? Yep. Because I, I bought some the last time we went. We've got so much stuff in it. L Skippy, hello and welcome, buddy. Yep. Good to see you. Well, we don't have any more left. I think we had any of it. It's milder. I, I knew that. <clears throat> they have a, um, is it hickory? There's a Chipotle. Chipotle, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, oh. There's there's several different flavors now that they've come out with. Yeah, there's and, lots. Oh, I love it. <coughs> okay, we don't have to Google everything. The green one is good. It's it's a little bit different, but it is good. You hit your 50 likes. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Tabasco sauce. Uh, so many channels are on so much. I know it's garden time. Uh, yeah. Um, I need to start that egg video, too. I see you're showing 50. I'm showing 49. What the heck? All right. Let's oh, see. Man. Sean took his off, that's why. <laughs> now I'm showing 51. Went to New Orleans, 80 degrees, back home to 50 and getting cooler. Right. Yeah. So there's the, the classic red pepper. No, salt. we cannot take Kate to the Tabasco factory. Oh, green is jalapeno. It is. And it's mild and zesty. Then there's chipotle sauce, which is a smoky, bold flavor. Mm. Cayenne garlic. Oh, I would love to try that one. That's that one wasn't there. There's a habanero. Yeah, I knew about that one. Fiery and sweet. It's a, oh, scorpion sauce. It says hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Um, Sriracha, smooth and garlicky. Uh, what's this one? Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. It just says sweet and spicy. It doesn't say ultimate dipping sauce. And then buffalo style hot sauce. Somebody said they make an Asian chili sauce and a Car Caribbean steak sauce. Oh, cool. That, those I've never heard about. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. I love going to That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to go. Yeah, you know, yeah. the first time I ever went to the uh, Tabasco factory in Avery Island, uh, <clears throat> I was in the fifth grade. And I remember... I remember going on that we went to the the factory and then the jungle gardens toured all that and then the ride home on the school bus i i slept and when i woke up i had chicken pox <laughs> so mm -hmm. that was an interesting trip very memorable you all have a good hot sauce recipe not salsa but like tabasco or cholulas or know anyone that does we don't. We don't make our own hot sauce. Not yet, but we um, do make a I'd like sauce. to get some Tabasco peppers. <laughs> I want the seeds. So um, so that I can start some plants and kind of toy around with the idea of making a hot sauce. I know it is a fermented. Oh, there you go. Honey Badger thing. says uh, Stivers had one on hot sauce. So if a moderator could look that up real quick, maybe. Yeah. If Grammy Karen's still here. That would be pretty appropriate for her to share. Someone they all burn my they like they burn my system. Actually, the Tabasco sauce is really not that bad. It's I, I find know. I find the Tabasco well then then too I have the the, the Cajun biased right. palate so right. uh, I find it to be more flavor than yeah I did too. Heat. I put I put it in just for the the smell of the, the fermented peppers more or less. Um, eating buffalo wings now and my mouth is on fire. Oh, just ordered tobacco seeds. 
Oh. Um, you is that tobacco it? or Tabasco? Retracted, so probably Tabasco. Yeah. I want the tobacco that originate from here in Louisiana. That's why I haven't ordered them from my house. <laughs> you grew up in Louisiana, <laughs> I'm a Yankee. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, spice. I'll have to send you a bottle of Tabasco sauce. Spice and Tabasco, okay. like really bold flavors and heavy smoked, like meats and stuff. That's what I'm accustomed. I know, like our friend Susan from Arkansas came down and tried Buna, and she said that tastes burnt. And I was like, that's not even the smoked Buna. <laughs> and then uh, Sherry from Two Family also tried Buna, and she didn't like it either. She's from Ohio, so it's really. Hey, thank you, Graham Karen. Appreciate it. So it's really, uh, it it is a you know, uh, cultural, I guess, regional palate kind of thing. Patrick says it's only 215 miles from my house to Avery Island. We need to go. <laughs> That's not bad. It's, uh, it's really 215 not. It's miles. Wind. Um, we we drove more than that to it's, get to. Susan's. It's about probably 40, 50 miles. But to get to Wayne and here Susan's to place. Here. In southeast Arkansas. Oh, that's that over was, 300 miles. Yeah, right? so that's not that far. You could do it. Well, just just swing on by, here. pick us up, and we'll all go together. Us and yeah. uh, Southern Boy Prepper. <laughs> and don't think you're changing my word. Yes, Tabasco. <laughs> oh, the reason why is because Tabasco is T-A-B-A. -A. That's why it wants to change it to tobacco. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even notice. <clears throat> oh, Buddha is so good. Now, Southern Boy is saying I'm two hours from you, so what's the holdup? Really? Uh, I can't get Southern Boy over here to drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so, and he's going to go to Avery Island. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gossamania. <laughs> Welcome. Jerusha, uh, Jerusha Goss was uh, planting in her garden yesterday evening. And uh, I was stuck at work, so I pulled that up and I was watching that a little bit, <laughs> just to just to not feel so stuck at work. <laughs> People who have high spice tolerance lack taste buds. I beg to differ. Um, our food for, it tastes pretty darn good up here, and now all the way down here. I look when it comes to spicy foods. I'm good from about here down, here from here up. <laughs> the rest of the way I have to use with spicy foods nowadays. We really didn't have to share <laughs> all that. Thank you. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I have to think about it because as, as good as it is and as much as I might crave it, uh, I, I have issues like the next day. So. <clears throat> so Tractor Supply has the Tabasco seedling. Oh, seedling. I know, but I don't know if they're true Tabasco seeds from here. Oh, look, she says oh, a friend that she has a friend that works on the island. That's cool. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. You know, it'd be even cooler. Is I'm going to take a vacation one choice. week and then it'll be on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And come and visit. That would be easy. He's going to have to come every day. I'm talking to Destiny. Oh, I, I gave up on Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, Reagan's going to owe me like the whole week of his vacation. Hey, Autumn. He's going to have to come visit every single day to catch up for as many times as he told me he wanted coffee. All right. <clears throat> I believe Baker Creek is, has been selling us Tabasco seed is the real deal. See, that I, I don't know for sure. And because What's it's local. Okay, Tabasco is a type of pepper. Right. That's that's true. But Tabasco brand pepper sauce is the Avery Island McElhaney uh, brand. So please don't give up. I, I will come every every day. Every day. Every day. Hmm. <laughs> uh, um, no, I just I want to get them local to know that they are acclimated to this temperature to this climate because we've had a lot of we've had some trouble with some things from baker creek 
And I think it's because they're acclimated to the northern climate. Right. And, and they they get hit this heat and humidity in the middle well, of the summer and go, ah! And, and that's, that's the trouble with flocking to these large seed corporations. You have to know what you're doing. Yeah. You have to know if that particular plant is going to grow in your area. Right. Even nowadays, though, even if you buy it at a local tractor supply or Walmart or something, they don't care. They don't care if it's not going to grow in this area as long as you buy it. They're selling lettuce seeds right now That's for this area. If you're going to plant lettuce, it needs to be early, care, super Glenn. early spring. It's too hot right now. <coughs> I mean, unless you're growing it for chicken food. Autumn. Hello. Hi. Yes. They also get that spotted leaf virus sometimes in the hot, humid weathers of the south. Yes, some of these plants are not acclimated to this. It's not just the heat, it's the humidity part. Yeah, that's humidity, man. So they get all these uh, fungal issues. I'll, look, I'm a, I've, I've said this before in live streams. You may have heard me say this already. If so, you can just ignore me. But Louisiana summers, I'll explain to you what they're like. Take a pan of water, put it in the oven, and set the oven on about uh, 250 degrees. Once that pan starts steaming up the oven, stick your head in. Don't really, don't really. It's a joke, but that's what our summers are like. Just, yeah, open the oven and, like, let the steam hit your face. That's, yeah. A sauna. <clears throat> People pay to sit in a sauna and steam themselves. You cannot. Look, Why? It, it when gets, you can go to Louisiana or Florida and do it for free. It gets it gets so humid and uncomfortable here. You cannot sit in the shade and enjoy it. Pepper plants are hot weather plants. The air you wear. Yes. This is true. <laughs> the air you wear. Yeah. <coughs> there is issue here depending on what they grow. At the it does and take and the nursery they come from. Right. Should sell tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we're going to have to start. Technically, we did. We had the Bayou Bash. and um, We did. Single Dad came in, and we watched him melt in about 30 minutes. He, oh, wow. It was, it was like 90. It was like a candle. Like, the, you could watch the back of his shirt just slowly getting wetter and wetter and turning colors and and then he told us we lived, what, six miles north of Hades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I wish, the, that's the trouble with hosting an event like that. I didn't get to visit with you. I know. Uh, I would have loved to visit more with more people. Yeah. And, and we just didn't have that opportunity because we were so busy. It was constant. Yeah. But I do remember you being there. There's a lot of people that struggle with it. And if, if you're not from here and you're not used to it, then it is. It's a huge adjustment. Maybe next year. Mm. We'd have to really consider. Uh, there, we have a lot to consider. Well, um, Lake we can, Charles is still not back to par. Still as not far 100%. As the hurricanes. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of buildings damaged. I, there's a I'll lot. Tell you, there's still a lot of COVID restrictions as far as the um, um, big, huge meetups. And a lot of these bigger places were damaged and they're not going to rent out their, their buildings. Now, and it's expensive. Now that there is a Gulf Gulf coast gulf coast homesteaders meetup which is it, it's in far west florida like at the end of the panhandle somewhere uh there is a gulf coast it's like homesteaders of america like that type uh venue where you can go and learn and stuff now that is doing that down here in the south i think what i would like to do is to do something more personal more similar to the picnic the kentucky picnic yeah. which i haven't been to yet <laughs> i would love to go to the kentucky picnic too but i would like to host something just 
just a meetup, just a gathering, a get together. Yeah. And uh, not have to worry about trying to to plan out all the all the stuff. Because we're not trying to make money off of it anyway. No. We didn't make money off of the Bayou Bash. No. And we weren't intending to make money in 2020 when it all got canceled. Right. The the main goal is to get together, learn from each other, visit and and get to know each other better. You know, the those making friends and different connections. It, it it's it's fantastic, fantabulous. <laughs> I was I couldn't okay. I was putting two words together apparently. Uh, so, and that's what I want. So Something the, that's not too small, but not too like family huge. reunion style. Yes. Yes. And see now what, what we would have to do that we cannot plan it in the summertime. Not oh gosh, Louisiana. no. Because if we're gonna do something that is outdoors, it definitely needs to be in the fall right. in Louisiana. It could be late fall too, like November, and it'll be mild temperatures, comfortable to be outside. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Did you Google that? <laughs> All right, we're going to have to go ahead and make a last call for prayer request. No, nope, she uh, spelled it. Wow. I have to get ready for work in the morning. Unfortunately, that whole doggone job thing. I know. <laughs> Oh, I wait. I think Abby's off Saturday, and we're supposed to go to um, for sure. Wendy McNeese. Pray for our nation. Mm -hmm. Suburban hillbilly for her mother. Remember, you guys, if you're not comfortable putting your prayer request in the chat, we don't expect you to. Uh, you can always say unspoken, or mm -hmm. you can send us a private message, email, any kind of way. Just say pray for me, or you know, prayers, please, something like that. It, that yeah, you fine. don't have to tell me a reason. <laughs> I don't need a reason. I just need a request. You got Warren. <laughs> I pray for everybody in general, but I'm I'm just asking for you know Thank you, if there's any specifics. Oof. Forty eight hour shift. Yeah. I got it, Lori. I'm gonna look at it after the stream. Oh hey, Sue says looking for land have to be out of their apartment the end of the day. From Mary Beth's back right now it's because you're old and you work <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well most of mine is soreness from working <laughs> read both comments i'm not reading that out loud yep this is true My you know uh, Air Force. it okay. was back in 20 in august of 2019 I got it Wendy a, a friend of mine and me went up to visit another friend in Indiana and mid-August was very pleasant in Indiana Started. and uh, so we we flew up and a couple days later we drove back and it was pleasant pleasant got pleasant it, Got out of the car in New Orleans to pick up my butt, my other buddy's car, and it was like couldn't breathe. The air was so thick. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay, guys, we appreciate you all. We're gonna leave the chat open stream so that we don't miss any of uh any of your prayer requests oh life with linda i'm so sorry we're, we're saying good night so i'm for really coming hoping in, that um you get some answers and start feeling better i know that's been rough on you true that harvey good to see you again bub 
<coughs> so again, we're going to leave the chat open so that we don't miss uh, your prayer requests. I got you, Lori. And we're going to go ahead and say good night. So uh, um, remember, next week, Wednesday, not Thursday, because of my work schedule. And, and we're hoping to start working on some videos. If we get the opportunity, because we stay so busy. We try. We really try. You got it, Linda. And we appreciate all your support. Whether your videos or not, you're here. So we appreciate that. <laughs> so until next week, good night. God bless. Stay safe, guys. <laughs>